chilling to weather. Chevy Chevalier. 651 on your Aloha Tuesday. Less cloud coverage as far as high thin cirrus clouds. We still have some cloud coverage and you can see off in the distance here, see the, the rain shaft, I guess you could call it. There's just rain coming out of the clouds there. A couple of showers on the leeward side, not as much as we saw yesterday. We still have the windward activity though. And you can see most of this is low level clouds. So this is the difference here. This is the darker clouds you see there. Those are low level. This green and yellow, these are upper, uh, higher level uh, cirrus clouds clouds so uh, we're not seeing that serious as far as uh, this morning goes and uh, the shower activity is mainly uh, for Oahu and uh, we're seeing that on the windward side uh, not as many if any at all are coming over to the leeward side this morning winds are 5 to 10 now they'll go back up to 15 to 20 this afternoon with gusts possibly 30 plus especially for windward portions of Maui County so this is Hurricane Darby and the models are in pretty good agreement as far as where it's going to go. You can see these are all the models that they look at. Only one outlier is uh, showing it go up toward the Big Island, and it's just a little bit farther to the south than we saw the track yesterday. Not much of consequence, but it will to give even less of a chance for shower activity on Saturday into Sunday for Oahu and Kauai. Uh, the rain and possibly winds as well, it'll be a tropical depression by the time it gets to Hawaii, will be mainly for the Big Island and, and for Maui County, but there's still a, a a better chance, uh, an increased chance anyway, for shower activity for Oahu and Kauai. Small craft advisory until 6 p.m. for the areas shaded in uh, pink that you see there. And for the next seven days, these are this is the remnants of Bonnie. So some moisture works in here. As I said, the better chance for showers for both of these is uh, going to be the Big Island in Maui County, but still uh, an increased chance. That might spill a little bit into early portions of your Thursday. And then you see an increased chance in shower activity Saturday into Sunday, and then we go back to uh, the windward sh showers, uh, breezy windward uh, trade winds, weather as we get into Monday through Wednesday of next week. That's a look at your weather forecast. Now, the traffic with Chris. Morning, Chris. Good morning, Chevy. Thank you so much for tracking those storms and our Tuesday or Tuesday weather right now. Traffic still looking good. You can see our Kahumano overpass not having too much trouble. Actually, improved from earlier, so uh, things are looking good there. We do have a few accidents that we're monitoring. Uh, this is mostly in the westbound direction then off of the freeway Mwanlu Road and Ho'omalu and then this accident happened westbound near the exit uh, from Mwanlu Road so just be, be careful on both those areas uh, but you also see up to around the Waipahu exit we're seeing some westbound traffic so I'm expecting the accident actually going to be over here so watch out that heavy shade of red is oppressive try to get off the freeway before that. After that uh, H1H2 merge still doing well and over on uh, the Manoa front we still have that closure on Oahu Avenue uh, due to some uh, the power lines that were taken out from an earlier accident that happened overnight. So watch out. They're still repairing it. You are asked to avoid the situation between Anui Nui Street and the five-way intersection on Oahu Avenue. Right here's your live camera as you're taking a look at the Kahuman Overpass. Still moving uh, pretty well. Drive time still decent. 20, 28 minutes from Eva Beach. 16 from Kaneohe. 52 from Waimea Bay on the North Shore. And from Waianae, we're actually down to 49 minutes. Topped out around 53. So ebbing and flowing between all those drive times. But now let's check the surf. Send things over to Bond. Bonsai Betty DiPolito with the update. Good morning, Bonsai. Hey, Chris. Aloha. Yeah, no reason to drive to the North Shore, that's for sure. It's flat. It looks like maybe a half a foot. Beautiful morning, though, right now. Uh, we've got uh, one to two foot surf, maybe even some threes on the west side at Makaha and other reefs. Um, the surf is coming up today. It should be three to five feet by the afternoon time on southern exposures. And uh, Ala Moana showing something already, too, in the three-foot range along with Sandy Beach. Diamond Head maybe a tad bigger already. Uh, we've got the east side, a choppy, just one to three feet. So we've got small craft advisories posted, pretty windy, 15 to 25 uh, predicted for the day. Uh, low tide, 8 a.m. at minus four. High tide is 340. It's a 2.7. It's a full moon out there. Beautiful morning, that is for sure. Uh, but a very high tide. Uh, sunset, 717, rising around 557. So is coming up. Water temperature 78 degrees. A beautiful day in Hawaii.